Canyon. <laughs> We're heading to the Grand Canyon. We're staying in uh, Flagstaff KOA, which is not much to write home about. There are really no level sites in that park. And for the first time on our travels as quilt roadies, we had to use our leveling blocks. So that was a bummer. It's like a it's like the old time KOA and the women's bathroom was not available because it's under renovation. So I probably out of a five would give it a two. What do you think? Yeah, it's not well kept. But another thing that's really bugging me right now is the roads. We're on Highway 40. And there are potholes so big, I'm actually seeing car parts laying on the side of the road. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're horrible. It's like an e-ticket ride for those of you that remember those. <laughs> and and they, they've like filled some of the potholes with cement. So it's like the, the road has leprosy. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how much Arizona spends on their road, but uh, you might be able to see behind us. It looks like they're trying to fix the other side. Yeah. <laughs> so, just a word of caution to anybody coming on Highway 40 from Flagstaff to the Grand Canyon. It is horrible. Yeah. Our refrigerator hasn't liked it, huh? Well, <laughs> well back to the KOA. Even though G and I give it a two, Enzo would probably give it a four out of five because it, it, it has, it's like back home. Flagstaff is very much like uh, Central Oregon. And so he's used to being out in the woods and having lots to sniff and smell. And so he is loving that KOA because our site backs up to uh, open land and trails and so Enzo's having a good time <laughs> at that KOA but uh, for us it's kind of a lot of work to get set up I mean we we like to pull in relax start a happy hour but now we're heading to the Grand Canyon and to Will first to Williams and the old Route 66 right yep yeah, we might have to have a burger on Old Route 66, huh? <laughs> and I hear there's a really cute quote store in Williams, so we shall check it out. The south rim seems to be more expansive than the north rim, which is kind of interesting because we've only been to the north rim before this.
a bucket list. <laughs> Gotta make the trip here. You'll feel really small after seeing this. <laughs> Tell me the way to the quilt store. That way? It's hard to believe, but today we are going to be starting season two. Yeah. It's amazing. I mean, amazing that we have reached this milestone. What a year. Huh? Yeah, we appreciate all those who like our videos and subscribe. Uh, it has been quite an adventure. Uh, at the end of season one this last week, we had our first breakdown and we survived that. Yeah, I mean, what a ordeal that was very unusual incident that happened to the rig uh, the cooling fan just exploded inside and, and pieces just like shrapnel went through the radiator and everything else <laughs> the guys just couldn't believe it at the shop of course we were very excited or 
I was very excited that we broke down in the parking lot of Three Dudes Quilting, yeah. <laughs> Quilt Shop. <laughs> I could soothe my soul. But um, we just wanted to share with you that it has been a, an adventure. Yeah. And we yeah. have loved it. We love traveling in our 24 foot RV with Enzo. Enzo's not so keen on it, but he, he does okay. He just won't eat or drink when the slide's in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think he's getting used to it. And uh, this, uh, this, at the end of this season, we have traveled to places we've never been before, which we love. And quilt shops, we there have been new quilt shops along the way. And as we start uh, season two, we'll start uh, today with uh, Arizona Quilts, which has... Uh, Actually, we're going to do Grand Canyon and Blackstaff, and then... Arizona. Arizona. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. We we're we're constantly on the go, so trying to keep up with everything has been <laughs> difficult. Yeah. So we're starting with Grand Canyon, Flagstaff, and Williams, uh -huh. which the quilt shop in Williams was closed. Um, it looked like it. Uh, there was a note that said it would open in. Um, March and it's April and it hasn't opened and it looks pretty darn empty in there so yeah. I'm I'm hoping that somehow you know that'll get rectified but we have seen that on our travels that there have been some independent quilt stores that have not been opened and that's one of our goals is not only to see the country but to support the independent quilt shop. Yeah, because they do need some support. Uh, get them through all the all the economic uh, upheavals. And... So if you see something that you love on one of our videos, please contact that shop. They will be, uh, we have not met a shop yet that has not been more than willing to mail order something to you <laughs> to help along. <laughs> Right now we're in North Scottsdale area, uh -huh. which is um, lovely. It's absolutely lovely here. And it's hard to believe that we're not that far away from Phoenix, but it does feel like we're out in the country. So, um, so far this season, what's been your favorite campground? I think my favorite campground uh has been the Lost Dutchman campground, which you'll see in a later video here. Uh, it's uh, very nicely kept. I mean, the people, the camp hosts are just on top of every, um, uh, cleaning every site and raking the gravel. I mean, it's just, it almost looks like uh, a country club in there. But there's a lot of hiking and a lot of beautiful cactus and uh, mountains and uh, spires that are just beautiful out there. And that, uh, with that said, uh, what you can do is Google camp hosts, and if you wanted to be a camp host, that's an opportunity state by state in state parks, county parks, and uh, regional parks. Uh, you have um, a free site plus uh, salary sometimes, and you get to camp in beautiful places if you have the time or the opportunity. That's that's an awesome program yeah and we have not met a camp host we didn't like yeah i mean they're very very nice and very helpful we have broken up our stays with um uh, the rv parks that have laundry rooms and swimming pools yeah. and <laughs> got to do that once in a while got to mix it in there and <laughs> give ourselves a break get cleaned up <laughs> yeah give the dog a bath <laughs> But the park hosts were very helpful, you know, when we had our breakdown, we had to vacate our site for a couple of days. And uh, one of the things we learned is when you're taken off from a campsite and uh, you feel you could just leave some of the chairs and furniture uh, for the day, you, you'd be surprised if you can't come back. You, you feel helpless, you don't know what to do. And But these park hosts were very helpful. They took our stuff and they kept it and they put it aside and we were able to go get it. Yeah. So that was amazing. That was amazing. So now we're heading into season two, many more adventures. Yeah, and um, for the future, I mean, it's still kind of open, but we hope to maybe get in the Grand Tetons. Oh, 
and Yellowstone and yeah, high five on that. Yeah. <laughs> so that's going to be a, a, a new adventure for us both. So looking forward to that. I'm sure there's quilt shops up north. Oh yeah, Jackson Hole and that area. Yeah. So it was great. Our first season was great. We're heading into season two. We hope you'll come along. <laughs>